All right, so going with our previous uh, tutorial, I'm now going to show you how to get rid of text or just remove it in general. All right, so what we can do is we can uh, message box. Actually, we can just print it out to the console string. It's going to print out what we had last time. But what we can do down here is we can go string dot g sub exclamation mark. Now um, in print print parentheses you can type in text here as in any text in here I can um, type in en and then um, comma so you're gonna replace en with something else and I can go um, anything All right and then we'll print that out string and what do we get Yeah, that looks kind of uh, weird and uh, not good. <laughs> okay, so that's what Gsub does. It actually replaces text, or um, yeah, text with um, other text. So in this case, you could use this to um, cancel out uh, swear words. So if you're making a swear, if you're making a game and you have swear words in it, and uh, you want to give the people the option of taking out swear words and replacing it with um what is it that censored language so um, in example here if I had a uh, fuck I can uh, replace that with that so I don't really want to write fuck up here but I'm gonna have to nope now a sentence barely done in the bad one fuck okay so that's what uh, gsub does it just replaces uh, text Okay, so it can even replace a letter too. So if I was to put an A here and I was to replace it with uh, a star, you're going to see a lot of stars. See? Forgot about that. That's all GSUB does. So if you got that down, you're all sweet. Um, you can also use GSUB uh, a different way. See, this one has an exclamation mark next to it. And this is kind of like. Um, plus equals for strings sort of in a way here so I can also go string equals string dot g sub and um, replace text so I can do bad and replace that with good and um, I'll get comment that out for now and let a sentence goodly done in a good one Ah, <sighs> face palm. Okay, so that's all you need to worry about for GSub, and this is used for your variables and your um, escape characters. So if you don't know what an escape character is, it's when you do the following: you go into show text and you go see um, one, and then type in hi c zero. As you can see, there's no um, slash C array brackets and all that stuff. What they do is in their um, message box uh, script that's in window base, I think it is. Um, change escape character, I think it's called. There it is. Yeah, it's what they do is they go result g sub and they uh, replace stuff. So. First thing they do is if you have two backslash, if you have a backslash, they um, change it to e. And if you have, and then um, if that has two e's in it, then they replace it with um, two backslashes. Which, in um, strings and sense like that, if you have two uh, slashes like that, it's going to show it. It's going to show one of them instead of two. Okay, so result dot gsub um, ev, which is your variables, and this is a regular, ex regular expression. I haven't gone through that yet, so. I'll cover that eventually. And it um, keeps going down and down. So, name, active name, body member, body member here, um, result.gsub, uh, what's uh, gold for gold. There you go. And then uh, returns result. Okay, so that's all there is to it. No, I don't. To it. That's all there is to gsub, and it's really straightforward in that sense that you don't have to worry about it so much. So, 
as long as you got that down you're all good so just remember that it's used when you're using escape characters so that would be handy to know because I might make an escape character tutorial soon um, and um, yeah that's pretty much it stay safe guys